Welcome back, you guys. Let's play Amnesia Memories, and we're continuing forth in our good answers for the good ending. This should wrap it up after this episode, Kent's Rod, and then we'll go on to the next one! Yay! Is it okay if I remember? Aw, oh, don't make the sad face, bro. Oh, that's right, you get to meet Mommy and Daddy Kent. I'll stay over. It's me, Mommy and Daddy Kent, and make Pretty happy. much. Uh, I'm lonely too. Uh, I see. <laughs> then I'll call you. How does that sound? That's not a bad idea. That reminds me, you two have never had a conversation on the phone like a couple would. I see. So this purpose of calling and messaging a woman when you're dating. This is the purpose of it, I guess. Oh. It is a supplement for the time you can meet in person. Interesting. I finally began to understand why you didn't like the messages I sent before. Uh, what, he understands? Next time I send you a message, I'll do my best to include content that encourages conversation. Also, the sort of thing I wanted to tell you. Eh, yeah, skip. Skip, 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 skippity. Mommy and Daddy can't look exactly like him. And he's eating with his green gloves on for some reason. I know, it's like it's not as cold in your house. Yeah, love is irrational. At least I chose enough to get a decent ending. Yeah, it's okay, go now. Should I pick you up? Okay, here we are. Now we're right back to where we were last. Yeah, well, this is still the same. Uh, yeah, it's still single. Yeah, we were just gonna. Uh. No, that would be number. Yeah. <laughs> I was smart! Don't make boyfriend who's already boyfriend jealous. I'm trying to trying to make him like you, and that'd be good. Whoa, epilepsy warning, guys. <laughs> uh. Warning of epilepsy in this video. Oof. Yeah, talking with these two assholes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, yeah, so is it. Wait. Yeah, is it weird to like someone you just like before? <laughs> Which apparently it is not. No, of course not. No. Sad. Say, it's fine no matter what I remember. Oops, sorry. There's another message. See, that's yeah, the end. end. Yeah, see, that's the end of Orion's message. Uh uh. Wait, did you? What did you pick? Let him keep going. No, you had to pick. That's the end of Orion's message. Did I? Yeah. Does that matter? Well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I think it'll be fine. What answer's not gonna kill it? Well, we'll find out if it does. We'll have to go back through <laughs> all of this again. We should have saved. Okay. Uh, one second. I'll go get his notes. Yeah, I don't think one bad message is gonna take you off. And the then rock. we got hit by a car, and our dog died in our past. And everything happened. Damn it! I can't go after the presentation. I didn't anything for me to go now. I fully understand that, but still, you want to see her as soon as possible, right? I know that feeling. Iggy, I'm sorry to have you help me with this. I'm going to the hospital. See, I knew it. If it changes, yeah. I understand. Go right ahead. <laughs> In exchange, when she feels better, I'm going to tell about this panic you're in right now. <laughs> Just go easy on me. I'll be leaving now. Oh, uh, yeah. Hospital, I lived. And I hate him because he told me to just get over oh, my dog. Alex, pull yourself together. Don't die. <laughs> Someone's calling to me. I remember it was another time you called out to me desperately like this. And I go blank. And then I go, I, I regain consciousness again. Oh, you're awake. Are you okay? Are you in pain? Just wait, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna get grab a nurse. I wonder why Kent is in a place like this. The sun is still so high. Kent was supposed to be really busy. You've got a huge look on your face. I decided to abandon the conference. I was worried about you. I couldn't give my presentation. I heard you were only lately injured, but I couldn't sit. I had to come here to see you. Oh, but don't think of this as it being your fault. I likely wouldn't be able to study abroad because of this. I think part of me was actually hoping for that. There's nothing more important to me than you now. Yay, we're important. I knew it for sure the moment I saw you open your eyes. I'm glad I came. This was the right choice. 
I don't want to let go of your hands again. No matter what you think of me, my feelings won't change. Aww. You're more important to me than anything. Anything? That much? He's thinking about me that much? I... I'm... You don't need to answer me now. I'm sure you're still tired. It's okay, you can sleep. Don't worry about anything. Nothing scary will happen again. I'll be with you all day. I want to watch over you. Hey. Hey, Alex, can you see me? Hmm? All right. Okay. Bye, Ryan. Bye, buddy. Bye, buddy. I had finally gathered the determination to talk to you, but it seems you remembered. Before I ask what you think, allow me to apologize. I am sorry about back then. I didn't understand your feelings, and I ended up speaking insensitively. At yeah. the time, I believed I was correct. Yeah, it's just like, what happens if your yogurt grass dies? Would you make me feel- would you- would you be upset if I was insensitive, you bastard? Probably. <laughs> it's like, or he'd probably- All about is yogurt grass! Oh, he'd probably agree with you. <laughs> yeah, I know, probably would agree. Be like, it's just- it's okay. It, it's bound to happen. No big yeah. deal. It's like, what the that death was only a matter of time, and I believed you were prepared for it. That's why I wanted you to teach what you felt. I wanted you to be more positive. However, now that I realize, that was not something to be said to a person who had lost someone important to her. If you had died yesterday and someone had said those same words to me, I wouldn't be able to bear it. I can't even stand the thought of it. I wouldn't be able to endure such a thing, yet I hurt you with those same words. I can't simply say your death will be just a matter of time. Character development? Yay. Even knowing they will eventually part ways, I want to be with you forever. I want you to live forever. <laughs> Honey, we're, we're not that far in the future yet. You've gotta go- And I'm sure you felt the same way about your dog. You gotta go abroad so you can teach us how to live forever, dude. Hmm. But and there's one more thing I'd like to apologize for. Back then, right before the leash snapped and the dog ran off, I said, that dog is a nuisance. Huh? You did? You don't remember? I'm sure I said it. It was always barking at me, and when I fe I was fed up with it, I didn't really like dogs to begin with. However, that's just an excuse. At the time, all I wanted was to be alone with you. I wish it would go away, and it happened right after the leash snapped and the dog ran off. I'm sure it was a coincidence, however, it was... It was the devil had granted my wish. Wow, be that's his wish. Yeah, he, the Whoa, yeah, yeah, he just wanted to uh, be with, alone with her and... Yeah. I realized this feeling of guilt is unrealistic. It was a simple wish. It wasn't my fault. But when I realized that the feeling of misapprehension, the guilt that I killed your dog won't disappear. And I feel this way about that. I believe you feel even more strongly about it. That's why I want to apologize. I didn't actually want your dog to die. I don't remember. It must have been a huge shock to me. Maybe I can't remember. Maybe it's something I don't want to remember. Thank you for apologizing. No, thank you for receiving my apology. Thank you. <laughs> I just want to imagine him without thank you. God. I didn't think the day would come where I could talk to you about this. I didn't think you'd ever hear me out and listen to my apology. Thank you. I feel as this burden has been somewhat lifted. Call character development, baby. It's okay. Even after remembering that, you still talk to me like this? Aww. I love you all this time. I just want to talk to you like this. Aww. I can all see with these feelings now. I never would have thought of doing this just one month ago. It's strange. Now that the things I want to hide from you are revealed, I feel as though I can finally face you for the first time. On the day when I hurt you and you rejected me, I didn't know what I would do. After your dog died, you didn't go on your morning walks. I lost every chance I had of seeing you. I wanted to see you again, but I believed you wouldn't want to see me. I thought I'd just end up making you cry again, and that would remind me of that would remind, remind me of me terrible things. That would remind you of terrible things. That would remind me of terrible things that I did to you. Probably. All my fucking fault. <laughs> but still, I wanted to see you so badly. I didn't know what to do. I couldn't bear it on that day when I called out to, out to you and asked if you'd date me. You were completely shocked. You were simply shocked. You looked at me with sorrowful eyes. I can't forget that face you made at the time. 
Now that I think about it, you probably wanted to ask me why I said such terrible things if I had those feelings for you. Yeah, sure, Sly. Now I can answer that question. I was ignorant. I never known anything or anyone that I truly didn't want to lose before. I didn't understand your pain, so I ended up hurting you. I treasured you, but I always made you angry. But still, I was thinking about you in my own way. I may make more mistakes in the future, but I want to do my best to show my sincerity and be faithful to you. <laughs> That's why I want to ask, may I still remain by your side? Well, I think that's pretty odd. Why you said? Oh, actually, no. I think I said too much as well. Please stay with me. It's true. At times you were quite severe. Although that goes for us both. <laughs> it's okay for you to complain. I don't mind if you argue with me. If you're just satisfied about it, I think we'll talk it over. To be honest, I don't really dislike having quarrels with you. That's because you're kind of cute when you get serious. <laughs> I'm sure saying that will make just make you angry with me again. Fuck you. Uh, mm. <laughs> that way when you live in your embarrassed isn't bad either. <laughs> oh my goodness. Ridiculous, bro! You were just such an ignorant asshole until you realized, oh wait a second, I shouldn't say that shit about someone losing their dog, you know? If it yeah. was a person and uh, if I, I said something insensitive like that, of course I'd get fucking shunned. Okay. Oh, we can't miss it! Okay. Alright, I think this is all the same. Hey, a long ass conversation with these two. Yeah, the loud people. The loud people? <laughs> but in the end, you'll abandon the conference and rush to the hospital, right? And you'll chance and your chance to study abroad will be ruined because of that. It's gotta be long! Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh. That hasn't been decided yet. The official results will be just close on the 31st. Yeah, there we go. Sorry. Oh, no. You don't need to pause it. Like, you had bad intentions. But I'm being serious here. It doesn't matter what kind of rush you're in. Don't jump out in front of cars. <laughs> That's right. I was thinking my life became three days shorter from the shock. <laughs> it's more than that. Yeah. Thank you both. Alright. It's finally quiet. I'm... Okay, go. <laughs> I'm sorry. There's nothing for you to apologize about. That goes for studying abroad, too. This is a decision I made for myself. I don't want you to worry about it. Okay. Mm. If I went to study abroad, how many days would we not be able to meet? Huh? My scheduled departure was September 17th. My plan to return was the 31st of next year. Also, next year is a leap year. Hmm. What? Um. Oh, God! One sec. 379 days. Correct. <laughs> That's why, you know. Um. I'm saying I'd be lonely. <laughs> math questions and I'm lonely. Hmm? Yes, me too. Oh shit, Sherlock. That's a lot of fucking days. I didn't even read the numbers or I probably could have calculated the math. August 28th. August 28th. I'm home. I'm home. August oh, 20th. August 29th. Now we got August 29th coming in. Yeah, so this is all new. Yeah. Do you remember this park? No. It's a very pretty park. I didn't know that you'd end up taking me to the park if you walked through the cemetery. Back when we met every morning, we'd often walk here together. I think it'd be perfect for a... Rehabilitation walk or something of the sort. <laughs> I bet Ken was just like, I don't remember the words are rehabilitation. Yeah, rehabilitation <laughs> walk. What? You know, just like to remind. She probably I doesn't. She probably. See? She probably still doesn't remember everything. I wonder what feelings I had while walking with you, Kent. Did I think about you, or was I reluctant about it? I can't remember. Enough enough memories that though that Orion left. Anyway. Yeah. Okay. Ugh, there's a bench over there. We should sit and take a break. It'd be meaningless to push yourself too hard so suddenly. Yeah. yeah, it's like we didn't regain all our memories, apparently. What? If the previous me knew it's spending time with you with you like this, I wonder if I'd be surprised. Or would I be happy? Ugh. 
It's strange. Back then, I never would have thought I'd visit this park with you as a couple. Oh. I was thinking the same thing. By the way, Alex, do you have any interest in solving something like this? No! Is this one of those really difficult looking puzzles Iki was doing? It's simple. Earth. It's, it's simple. <laughs> arithmetic. How is arithmetic simple? No, it's just, it seems simple arithmetic is too <laughs> easy for you. Apparently. Wow. Well, also... More complicated arithmetic! Ah. Of course, this level is different than the puzzles I create for Ikiyu. Those are meant to frustrate him. Frustrate him? I made this puzzle fully intending for it to be solved. It should be solvable with a little effort. Oh, God. I thought you'd find an enjoyable way to solve this. No. Um. Okay, I guess I'll try it on. Yep. Thanks. I'd be happy if you enjoyed it. Okay. Mm. Hmm? What's wrong? Alex, would you marry me? What? What? <laughs> hey, I do your best anime one. What? <laughs> oh, I don't mean right now. I simply thought children with superior genes would be bored between us. Wow. <laughs> no, that's wrong. That's not what I meant. Oh, dear. I just thought I'd really live a happy life if it was with you. That, regardless of what strange things captured my fascination, you'd smile and go along with it. That's what I just imagined just now for a moment. Are you going to laugh at my silly fantasies? Yes. <laughs> I am. But if you'd be willing to accept me, I'll pledge my undying faithfulness to you for life. And someday I'll place a ring upon this finger. This is just an advance notice. Think about it until the day comes when I make a formal proposal. Aww. Do you think I'm rushing ahead too quickly? Yes. <laughs> but I feel I need to secure you now. It could or it may not happen. Hmm. Marriage. Could I do something like that? My heart's beating so fast. I should probably keep it keep it a secret from Ken for a while that I got so excited. August 31st. Ooh. Wonder what's gonna happen now. Oh, someone's here. Could it be Sour? Maybe Ken? Yes, I'll be right there. Oh, I think we already did this. Yeah. This uh, Ken, hello? Yeah. Oh. There's something I somewhere I want to take you. Where's that? You'll know when you see it. Oh, dear. This was the place you wanted to take me? You, the place you wanted to take me was the school? It's your school. Huh? Oh, I see. Now that you mention it, I kind of recognize it. Maybe. So, you really don't remember. I'll show you around. Oh, that's nice of him. Showing us around the school and stuff. Oh, I remember this hallway. I walked through here with Sawa and Mine. Until a short while ago, I didn't want you to come near this place. Why? I thought you might remember our math lessons from back then. And what happened afterwards. Is it the place we're heading to the classroom? Is to the classroom over there? That's right. Um, I want to remember. I think it'll be fine no matter what I remember. I believe so too. That's why I thought I could bring you here. This is the classroom. Oh, I remember this classroom. Are we gonna screw on a desk? I'll be starting class now. Return to your seats. Teacher, I have a question. Do you have a girlfriend? Ooh. Everyone, well, this class may a class plan by our students. I am not here to play around. All of you be silent, continue making noise, or I'll go home. Can I come with you? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you laughing? Did you remember the class? Yes. Kent, you were like a real <clears throat> teacher and a real strict one at that. I wasn't being strict. You were all too rowdy. <laughs> really? Really? What's so funny? Because we half intended it to just be for fun, but you're really serious about teaching us. No matter how much Sawa and everyone laughed, you weren't affected by it at all. Now that I think about it, I might have admired you ever since then, Ken. And now that I think about it, you came to that strict teacher for romantic advice. Ah. It was when we met during a walk, you talked about a failed love with someone. Who were you talking about? Well, they might be rude to start questioning you over it now. But I'm a little curious about who you had such feelings for. Just a little, understand? Um, 
I think it was Ukyo. <laughs> I bet it was Ukyo. Wait. <laughs> what do you think? Want to go out with me? We can just try it out and see how things go. Ridiculous. What? Talk to me after you get a hundred on your next test. I can't go out with an idiot. I kind of want to. I kind of want to add a reverberation effect on these. <laughs> I don't know why I just do. Ah. Oh, shit. Sorry. That's right. I talked to Kent about a failed love right after that. What should I do? I just remembered something really embarrassing. That person I was talking about. Oh, it was Kent. Kent. Well, duh. Ah. I was really shocked to find out that he had little interesting girls. So I talked So I talked about like I had been heartbroken. I thought if he had a little interest in me, he'd answer my feelings in some way. What's wrong? Why are you shying away like that? It's nothing. Don't tell me you just remembered that it was another man you liked. No, it's not that. I, I didn't like another person. I highly doubt that. You came to me for advice about a failed romance. I distinctly, if I would distinctly remember, or were you telling me and not asking for advice? I tried to ask you now who that person was. I'm saying there wasn't another person that I liked. Oh, oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> Aww. I see. That's why you slapped me when I told you to experience more of the same heartbreak. Wow. I'm sorry. Oh. Uh. <laughs> 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 what were we doing all that time? In other words, there wasn't a reason for us to be fighting from the very beginning. Kent, don't laugh like that again, please. <laughs> That's why he doesn't laugh at this round. Don't laugh like that again, please. <laughs> and that also means if you decide to talk to me about your failed romance, if I had her... I didn't hurt your feelings just because of my ridiculous jealousy. That would have been the end of that issue. You were jealous? Yes, now that I think back. At the time, I didn't understand why I was so irritated and ended up talking down to you like that. Oh. It's likely because I was already in love with you. I was jealous of this person you had such feelings for and lashed out. Would you agree with that logic? I wouldn't know anything about... about I wouldn't know anything any... Uh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose that goes without saying. I didn't even know myself, so you wouldn't have known either. What a roundabout way for us to handle things. <laughs> oh, silly. <laughs> you said that one should keep seeking out new partners. You don't really believe that, do you? In theory, I believe that to be most efficient. However, in reality, I see absolutely no reason why I would ever change, ever have a change of heart. In fact, when I think about you having a change of heart about me, I want to die! Ooh. I realize this is extreme and efficient as living organisms, so why do thoughts like this occur? I'd major that I'm far from being able to... being able to these feelings. What? Far from being able to these feelings. Hmm. Mm. In fact, I may never understand them my entire life. There you yeah! go! Yeah! There's the kish you wanted. <laughs> Smooch. Romance. I'll go out with you at least until I can understand. I got the. <laughs> <laughs> he's kissing you and he's talking. Got it. Go, he go. has a crazy ass coat. Look at all those buckles. I know, but like, he's not even wearing glasses right now. He took them off. I know, it's weird. Does that mean forever? <laughs> Official duty, <laughs> <laughs> hey, I started it. <laughs> I know it's my fault. <laughs> no, this is really strange. <laughs> okay, I gotta break. Why does this simple act of pressing my lips against yours evoke such powerful emotions? <laughs> I doubt I could ever begin to think of breaking up this before this mystery is solved. <laughs> I want to know where he bought that coat. So I so know. Sorry for the wait. It looks like one of those trip coats that you could get back in Hot Topic way back in like the early 2000s. Pretty much. That's like seriously how it looks. What did what did what did you go to? What did you go get? Oh, these documents. <sighs> these are Alex. What do you think about going to London with me next year? Yay! <laughs> That's what we were hoping. What? I fully intend on trying another chance of studying abroad at next year's conference. This is a goal I've had for a long time. I have no intentions of giving up yet. Well, that evil face, though. <laughs> yeah, I have no <laughs> intentions <laughs> of giving no, up no. yet. <laughs> but I also do not wish to go and be unable to see you. There's a way of fulfilling both of these desires. In short, you just need to come along with me. 
which should leave this university as a system for studying abroad based on recommendations. Your current grades may present a bit of an issue, but it's a trivial obstacle that should be relatively easy to overcome. I can help you improve on your current subjects. I can teach you various ways of acquiring additional knowledge. I don't believe this is a bad proposition for your own futures, but what do you think? Um, you really don't want to be away from me that much? Correct. I couldn't bear it. <laughs> you don't need to rush your answer. Just let me know when you've made up your mind. However, I have no intentions of hearing any answer but an agreement, just so you know. <laughs> That's not fair. Perhaps. Oh, uh, did you know? I knew. I'm in love with you. I don't ever want to let these hands go again. <laughs> just keeps using the worst hands. Like, why? I promise that I listen to your emotional arguments even if I ever felt like there's no logical reason behind love. It's true. There are reasons behind this feeling I can't explain. <laughs> it might be necessary at times to simply accept and obey one's emotions like you do all the time. Wow! Thus, I decided to obey my emotions and act based upon them. Nice. In other words, I have no intention of letting you go. Any objections? I have plenty. <laughs> oh my goodness. And that's the end. Happy end! Yeah. See, that was a better happy end than the. Yeah, movie. I know. That face. He's like, that uh, you're that, not that, like leaving me. Yeah, just grabbing hard onto her shoulder, like, you are not letting me go. And I, I don't know. your shoulder crack, bro. Ah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you, actually. That was, that was actually a little. That was actually irritating for a while, so thank you. I'm gonna give you a good back massage. But yay! We Bye. did that. And there's no music. Because, you know. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna skip. Because yeah, let's just skip that. It's not important! Wait. Hello, oh. someone for keeping on waiting. Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, pardon me! What? Ah! <laughs> what? Oh my goodness, they're in London! It's just me. That's in London. Oh, it's you again? I thought of the people here just saying something threw me off, but I couldn't understand. The accent threw me off. Oh, you just survived in London if you can't understand that. I just I'm sorry about being late. Silly. I was surprised when I was all of a sudden. I'm usually fine when I'm prepared for it. Oh, I'd hope so. Sheesh, Ken, are you remembering the streets, right? It's unusual for you to be late. Uh, that's not it. I was actually here in time, but I was watching you for a while. What? The sight of you waiting for me at this river bank just didn't feel like it was real. I thought you could vanish at any moment, and I ended up watching you for a while. I realized it was strange of me to do so. It's possible that I, I still can't believe that you come all this way here for me. When I can't see you, I begin to feel so unsure and weak. Um, I'm sorry for keeping you waiting. I don't ever want to make you wait. No, it's okay. Thank you for coming. Oh, I won't let you go again. Mm. It's only a third kiss. Ah, third kiss. Yes, please don't ever let me go. Wow, they had like a little thing. Toby I did. know! Toby like, did have that. Oh, memories we unlock like memories of Ken. Okay, when did we find out we loved him? <laughs> when did we find out we loved him? Or when did Ken find out he loved us? Or what does it say? I want to know. Wait, I didn't read it. Okay, well, we'll okay. read it after. August, August 26. Here. I'm in the hospital. Alex, is there anything I can do to take care of you more properly? If you wish, I could borrow your key, gather some clothes, I could buy some. Uh, a change of clothes? Right, a change of... Uh, no, I suppose it's better that I not touch women's clothing. They're yucky. <laughs> They're just so you, they got cooties. <laughs> just so you say, I know ulterior motives. Don't misunderstand me. I wasn't going to raid your drawers. Uh, yes, he was. I can, I can ask a female acquaintance for clothes necessary of your size. It would be, it'd be easy to ask Sawa or Mine, right? I can at least convey a message for them. I could ask my mother for help as well. Besides, is there anything else I can help you with? I will fulfill any request within my ability. Um, it's been a month since we started dating. I feel that today we finally become a couple that can communicate honestly with each other. I've been so inadequate until now. It's exactly, it's not exactly atonement, but I wish I could do something. But there's been a lot of times where I was inadequate as well. So there's nothing, so there's no need for you to do so much for me, Ken. But this feeling will remain unresolved. Anything would be fine. Please tell me. Uh, I. Oh God. I'd like us to talk together. 
I'd like to talk about... Wait. Would that really be enough? Furthermore, with that request, um, I believe it really was all in my happiness. If I take care of you, why are you concerned about me? Well, I really do like, want to talk to you, Ken. Lately, we haven't had a chance to sit down together like this. I guess maybe you were thinking the same thing? I see. I suppose couples do tend to think the same way. Then again, anything would be fine. Let's talk. Coming up with a topic like this is difficult, but I know about any subject of my potted plants at home. Lately, the state of my house plants hasn't changed much. Oh my god, you're actually going to talk about potted plants. <laughs> wow. This has been bothering me for some time now, but why have all the nurses who've come to check us look like they want to say something? When I ask, they avoid the question. It can't be my imagination. Your condition cannot take a sudden <clears> turn <throat> at this point. The test results have already been confirmed. It must be something else. Does it not bother you? That's... It's probably our hands. I think they might be wondering about our hands. Once they look down at them, everyone seems to smile at us once they see it. Our hands... Oh, you've been holding mine. Is there some sort of problem with your hold? For me, I like to stay as long as it doesn't upset you. It doesn't upset me. I'd like to stay like this. I see. That's reassuring. Then let's continue holding hands without concern. Okay. But visiting hours will be over soon. Visiting hours? That's right, visiting hours. I had forgotten there's a limit of being next to you like this. I'm sorry. I had to ask you to let go after all. If visiting hours are close to, close to ending, we can't stay like this. Uh, I understand. It's become late. I better go back to the front desk. Uh, all right. Kent, he left so quickly. I suddenly feel really lonely. But I guess it'd be selfish of me to ask him to stay. Didn't he stay overnight that one night, though? Yeah, that one night. Oh. I'm back. Sorry that took a while. Huh? Kent, welcome back. At times, it feels strange to converse with you like this. Um, did you forget something? No, not really. Why do you look so surprised? Because I thought you'd gone home already. What are you saying? I just want to get permission to stay the night. Ah, okay. What? <laughs> Even if your condition isn't serious, I'm still worried. I couldn't leave you alone here. Well, I admit myself, I didn't wish to leave your side. Yesterday, I was only given permission to stay one night. The hospital wasn't very happy. But I was able to convince them. I mentioned that it'd be best to consider your mental health, too. Your family is far away. Since you came here, your memory has been unstable and intermediate. Indeterminate. Indetermined. I told them you needed someone by, that you could trust by your side at a time like this. I'm not surprised that they allowed me to stay on that on that basis. The information I presented is hardly refutable. <laughs> Though they initially appeared grim, they couldn't help agree once I was finished. Hmm. I'm glad. I'm glad. I feel better when you're near me, Ken. Thank you. The way you smile so bashfully, it's cute. Can't. For now on, I'll work even harder so I'll be able to see that expression on your face more often. B but is this really alright for you to spend the night tonight? Of course I feel happy about it, but it must be a burden on you. I told you it's what I... I told you it is what I want. It was considerable shock to me that you were in an accident. Since you arrived here, I've only stumbled over steps five times. I missed turning the corner, I ran to a wall twice, I went the wrong room three times. <laughs> Oh, oh, this pole is here. That reminds me of the beginning. Once I thought I had run into someone, I apologized only to find it was a pole. <laughs> These are mistakes I never commit. Therefore, it can be deduced that I am more disturbed than I have ever been before. Son of a bitch. Just now, I returned. I was tripped over nothing. Even though your condition is not life-threatening, my mindset won't change easily, it seems. Even if I did return home, I probably wouldn't manage any work. Aww. Not only that, I might see the next day without a slightest bit of sleep. Thinking about something may happen to you while I'm gone makes me uneasy. Can't. <laughs> I'm restless when I can't feel your presence as closely as possible. When I realize visiting hours was over, an unspeakable despair assaulted me. <laughs> but the next moment, my mind became full of try trying to figure out how I could stay here. Man, this is fucking long as hell. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to laugh at me? No, I would never laugh at you. I was thinking something similar myself. That's why I couldn't I couldn't be with you. I would be unbearably lonely. Alex. I'm glad I rushed to your side yesterday without a thought. No matter what others say, I can clearly affirm it now. That is how much of a special existence you are to me. 
It might be strange of me to say something like this, but thank you for being safe. Also, I love you, Alex. You're more important to me than anyone else. Yeah, I yeah. Can't came to see me when I got into an accident. My memories returned and the two of us talked a lot. I was really happy when I told him I would end staying overnight at the hospital. He was really surprised. All right, well... How did you feel about that ending? That was a better ending. Yeah, I'm actually really happy. I really like that. The yeah. good ending of that. I'm actually glad that we didn't get a bad ending <laughs> at all. But I do. I kind of want to go on YouTube and see what the bad ending of that is I'll like. I'll have to look it up. Yeah, we'll look it up before... We're not going to show you guys. You guys can go look it up on YouTube yourself. We're going to look it up before we start our next thing. We're going to... Let's go. Yep, yeah, let's go. All right, I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Please like, comment, subscribe for more YouTube videos like this every other day. I'll talk to you guys later, right? Bye-bye.